Generally speaking, there are two broad ways you can quit smoking cigarettes. Without medications and with medications. Let's talk about medications. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Air, quadruple board certified psychiatrist, addiction specialist and lifestyle medicine physician. There are two broad modalities of quitting smoking behavioral without medications and pharmacologic which is with medications. I tend to see the best results when people combine both types of treatments. Now while I understand medications are not for everyone, I always advise that you keep an open mind when it comes to treating your nicotine addiction. There are a number of ways medications help with the process of quitting smoking. First of all, Medications help to block the reinforcing effects of smoking cigarettes. Tobacco is an addictive substance and nicotine is the component of tobacco that is responsible for your addiction. When you smoke, nicotine gets to your brain and this activates the acetylcholine receptors, which causes a release of dopamine and activation of the reward system in your brain. This causes pleasure and makes you look forward to smoking again and again. This is positive reinforcement. When you stop smoking, you experience withdrawals. This is a very uncomfortable feeling that can be relieved immediately by smoking tobacco and this is part of the negative reinforcement of the drug. So you want to block both the positive and negative reinforcement from tobacco. Medications can help with this. Medications also help reduce the urge to smoke and break the link between nicotine and triggers in your environment. Examples of such links that need to be broken include smoking while driving, smoking after a cup of coffee, and smoking while on the phone. You want to break or delink that connection between certain things you do and smoking. Using medications also help you engage in strategies that change your smoking behaviors. As much as medications are helpful, I would like to state that medications are not a silver bullet. There is no medication that will stop you from smoking without you applying yourself. It is the combination of medications with behavioral therapy that has been proven to help the most. Your ability to live, think and behave differently while the medications help you is what has been proven to work best. Some studies have shown that using medications can double your success rate of quitting smoking. Varenicline, also known as Chantix or Champix, appears to be superior to bupropion and nicotine replacement therapy. Nicotine replacement therapy and bupropion appear to be equally effective, but people are different and respond differently. Let's talk briefly about nicotine replacement therapy. There are several different types and we can break this into two broad categories, long acting and short acting. The long-acting preparation is the nicotine patch. This is easy to use and you simply put it on your skin and it lasts for 24 hours. Short-acting preparations like gum and lozenges help with the immediate relief of the urges to smoke. Nicotine replacement therapy can double or more than double the odds that you will successfully quit smoking. In the US, the nicotine patch, gum and lozenges are available over the counter. The inhaler and nasal spray are available only by prescription. Nicotine nasal spray has the most rapid effect and you can feel it within 5 to 10 minutes. The nicotine gum, lozenges and inhaler take about 15 to 20 minutes. The nicotine patch on the other hand takes about 3 to 4 hours to peak. Note though that the blood levels of nicotine from all the nicotine replacement therapies do not get as high as it does when you smoke 
and also tends to get to the brain and reach peak levels slower than cigarette smoke. With cigarettes, the peak levels of nicotine in your blood can be achieved within two to three minutes. To help you deal with cravings, you can use the nicotine patch and add on a short acting preparation like gum or lozenges. Many of these medications are used for two to three months but can sometimes be used for longer. You want to stop smoking as soon as you start nicotine replacement therapy so you don't end up with too much nicotine in your body. Like all medications, nicotine replacement therapy has possible side effects. It does not mean you'll get the side effects, but it's good to have an idea of what they are. Some of the common side effects are headaches, nausea, vomiting, sleep disturbance, dizziness, cough, sore throat, skin irritation, anxiety, depression, and increased heart rate. The other medication that can be used to quit smoking is bupropion SR. SR stands for sustained release. This means it is a long-acting medication. Bupropion is also referred to as Wellbutrin or Zyban. This medication is used to treat depression and works on two chemicals in your brain, dopamine and norepinephrine. With bupropion, you want to stop smoking about one week after you start the medication. The reason for this is that it takes a few days for the medication to build up in your blood. We usually prescribe 150 mg daily for 3 days, then increase it to 150 mg daily twice a day. The advice is to take the second dose before 6 p.m. because this medication can keep some people awake. You can take this medication for two to three months, but some studies have shown that treating for even up to one year can be helpful. So what are the side effects of bupropion? The common side effects are dry mouth, difficulty sleeping, anxiety, nausea, diarrhea, and headaches. This medication has been associated with seizures, so if you have a seizure disorder, you definitely want to stay off of this medication. You also want to avoid bupropion if you have a history of eating disorder or liver failure. The third medication is varenicline. Depending on the country, it's referred to as Chantix or Champix. This medication acts on the same region of the brain that nicotine attaches to, the acetylcholine receptors. It works by decreasing cravings and withdrawals. It blocks the receptors so that nicotine does not attach to them, thus decreasing the reinforcement you get from smoking. Studies show that varenicline tends to work slightly better than bupropion and nicotine replacement therapy. When starting this medication, you want to start a week prior to your quit date. We tend to go slow from 0.5 mg daily to 1 mg twice a day. The reason we slowly increase the dose is to help with side effects. Nausea is a common side effect and this slow increase in dose helps with this. We also advise you take this medication with food and a glass of water to help with nausea. Treatment with varenicline is typically for 3 months but can be for up to 6 months. Common side effects of varenicline include abnormal dreams, difficulty sleeping, nausea, headaches, anxiety and depression. To further help with quitting smoking, varenicline can be combined with bupropion or nicotine replacement therapy. Again, medications are not a silver bullet to help you stop smoking, but they can increase the odds of you being successful. A combination of medications with behavioral therapy is always best to ensure success. Please know that this information is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. This does not constitute a physician-patient relationship. Please seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health providers regarding your health. For more tips on quitting cigarettes and living smoke-free, subscribe to this channel.
I'll talk with you soon.